this young guy came up to me, young white guy comes up to me, student, after class, and he says, and he's just really excited, and he says, Julian Bond is one of my heroes. He said, you know, I'm in, and it was, you know, one of the gay rights um, uh, student organizations. And he said, you know, and I saw what he was doing and how amazing it was. And he said, you know, um, he, he, he just, I'm, I'm so, um, it just made me feel good. You know, that somebody from the, from the civil rights movement, from the traditional civil rights movement, would feel that they would, could support the movement that we're doing now. And so, um, you know, I said, well, Ju you know, that's Julian. You know, Julian is not gonna shy away from anything, no matter how difficult it was. Um, and so, you know, he, but it spoke to him and that somebody from the traditional movement should be doing this was, you know, was really important to him. I think had you, if you didn't have, you know, a Julian Bond or a Jesse Jackson or a John Lewis or some of these other folks, you know, Barack Obama doesn't happen because you, you need these folks who came before, you know, to kind of clear the way and, and make it possible. And so I think my dad uh, and subsequently Obama kind of made from the, that same kind of mold. There are lots of different role models or role model types in the African-American community, but they, they kind of come out of the same mold. He was the man, you know, plain and simple. And, you know, we wanted to be him, we wanted to be around him. You know, we wanted him to rub off on us. Julian Bond was an intellectual radical, as opposed to the radical who was constantly going to get in the way of whatever. He would use the power of the pen to be his sword. Julian was um, a reluctant tiger. He didn't necessarily go out and stir up things, but if perchance there was some stirring that he was nearby. He wasn't going to back down. Mm -hmm.